Have you ever wondered what inmates in jail and in prison do all day long? Do they just get to sit around and do crossword puzzles, play cards, eat top ramen, you know, and dong ding dongs and you know blondies or whatever they want to call their you know desserts and watch television? Some of them actually work. And some of the jobs that inmates at the county, state level, and the federal prison system have done in the past. Let's take a look at some of the more unique jobs where inmates have been contracted out to actually do work and see how many of them you actually knew. <laughs> First, let's take a look at the federal level. What do federal inmates do and what have they been contracted out to do in the past? Well, at the federal level, there are certain prisons that actually do have manufacturing facilities on the actual site itself, within the prison itself, and have made everything and done everything from canning vegetables and fruit that, those are jobs that have had in the past, and they've also, at the federal level, made everything for military parts and done refinishing and painting of actual parts for the military and for other branches of the actual U.S. government. But additionally, at the federal level, along with the state level, there have been inmates that have been contracted out where they have set up call centers. Yes, telephone call centers within the actual prison. The inmate checks in to a cubicle and they sit there and they answer calls from you, you, and you all day long. They have a three ring binder, a script that they read from to solve problems or technical issues. Maybe you have a game, a video game, you know, and it doesn't want to work. It's not working the way it should be. Or maybe you have a technical issue where you need to call because something with your car isn't working right. So you call the number that is in the actual booklet. Well, my XM radio is not working in my car. What's going on? So you call the technical support center. You could have been talking to a federal or a state inmate in a prison system, answering the calls. For technical support. Now, stepping down from the federal level to state prison system. Some of the more unique jobs that inmates at the state level have had, again, along with the technical support system, is this one that I bet you didn't know about. Every year during the holiday season, Butterball, the manufacturer of turkeys and chickens, has a toll-free number that you can call if you need help with cooking instructions for your turkey or chicken, mainly in only poultry items. But you can call them up and they'll tell you and answer questions for you. You very well may have spoken, if you ever called that line, a state prison inmate. Yeah, Butterball. Now, they don't currently use state in, um, inmates, but they have in the past, and according to their last statement, they would use it again. But the contract has since expired, but they are willing to use state in, you know, prison inmates to answer the calls again in the future if needed. Additionally, at the state level, what are some other jobs that state inmates have had in the past or still have to this day? We've all heard of state inmates getting served, you know, have long sentences and having to make everything from license plates to clothing items that are sold within the canteen, the commissary, within the prison system itself. And they have made everything from socks, underwear, you know, long johns and shirts, jackets, pants. But did you know that there, there are several, a total of 11 different state prisons across the United States that have contracted out with retailers to make items for themselves to be sold in a retail location or online or both? Well, some of those companies are Wrangler Jean Company has contracted with states to make manufacture jackets and pants for retail sale and online. Wrangler. How about Ariat? 
the boot and you know cowboy wear uh, company has made everything from jeans, jackets, vests, and even yes, hats in the state prison system to be sold again retail. Additionally, another company you may not have known about, Carhartt. The Carhartt company has manufactured blue jeans in the state prison system for years, as has Levi's Strauss, has manufactured jeans and jackets in the state prison system. Again, there are several different manufacturing facilities that are set up within the prison system and make, again, everything from license plates to clothing. Have you ever had a problem with Netflix? How about Redbox? Have you ever needed to call, picked up the phone and call technical support for Redbox or Netflix? Maybe your credit card wasn't working. Maybe it was another issue with either one of them where it just the streaming service wasn't working correctly and you needed to call them up. Or maybe you had a Redbox disc and you're trying to put it back in the box for some reason, it wouldn't take it. These are all issues that a lot of people have had. But did you know you could have been talking on the phone when you called to a county jail inmate? They have contracted out on the lower end of that. So they were able to actually send someone out to that red box, that location, to see what the issue was and to know if there was an issue with the Wi-Fi or streaming in your area. But they did it on a local level with county inmates, the national parks. Did you know that the National Park Service, when you pick up the phone to call and maybe get a seasonal pass to the National Park, instead of talking to an actual employee of the National Park, you are more likely today, to, if you call that number, to be talking to a federal or state inmate. They have been contracting out their actual inmates to these places for an awfully long time. The very first contract with the National Park started in 1990 and has been ongoing continuously ever since. Why do these places contract out their inmates? It's a very simple and mathematical you know, reason. Labor is cheap when you're an inmate using inmate labor. Most of them make less than a dollar per hour manufacturing goods behind the prison walls. They need to earn money so they can survive and buy the necessities like soap, shampoo, band-aids, stamps to write, you know, to write letters home, to mail them to their loved ones. They need money to be able to put on their phone so they can actually call home to, to their, their loved ones. Or they need you know, money for you know, electronic devices, tablets, and so on. But they need to earn some money. And they need to pay, again, restitution or pay for classes or for medical services. It's cheap. So they give them jobs to do these things to earn money so they can survive behind the prison walls or the jail walls. These companies, it's a great idea if you can teach them how to manufacture these things behind the walls you know, and cheaper than you can pay for someone out here in the free world to do it. Why not do it? Because you got that massive, more uh, a larger of a profit margin on each and every item. Lastly, I would like to leave you with this. Every one of the companies that I mentioned by name today have a policy in place that they do not di discriminate against felons once they've been released out into the public, but it is vastly harder for a convicted felon to get a job at any of these companies where they may be manufacturing the same exact items out in the free world and not from behind bars. They all say we hire felons, but they do restrict how and what type of felon they actually will hire. We will train them. We will give them years of edu you know, education on the job, on how to do it and how to keep you know, the next step on, you know, in the process. And they can make us millions of dollars while they're in prison. But damn it, if once they get out, they have to jump through the hurdles, an even higher hurdle than you or me or anybody else 
to get a job at these companies. But hey, we're not discriminating, they say. You stay safe out there, and you never know who's going to be standing next to you next. And you never know who's going to be knocking at your door. Thank you, Purple.